with the fact that we need to to actually tackle all, all of the challenges at the same time. And I'm very glad that the European Union does that. Um, in the European Commission, the European Parliament, uh, I'm the rapporteur on the Committee of the Regions of the Green Deal, and I also am of the same opinion. So we need to do recovery and fight COVID, but at the same time, do not lose uh, Green Deal from our sight, because we need to actually engage in uh, in promoting our priorities and realizing our goals simultaneously. And this is really important, and that's what is on the table, fortunately. Now, uh, there is a certain disjunct, because unfortunately, uh, our government, the Conservative government, uh, peace government, is not very keen on uh, fulfilling uh, Green Deal priorities, whereas most of the uh, opposition, and obviously the mayors of the biggest cities, who are either independent or represent opposition, they want to do just that, because we know that uh, there is no other way. I mean, first of all, because we need to save the planet. Secondly, uh, because if we fight for quality of life in our cities, we need to fight for clean air and at the same time fight climate change. And that's why we, for example, should do as much as we can uh, when it comes to saving energy, taking the diesel powered buses off the streets of our cities, investing in retrofitting and so on and so forth. What are the, what what is the real problem? The real problem is, and and Esther, you know, uh, actually addressed it as always, uh, point on, and and that's what the position of the EPP is, that we cannot lose the people. And now the situation of 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 Poland was difficult, especially a few years back, because uh, we are very much dependent on coal, and we uh, simply cannot lose so many jobs. Of course, there were also uh, worries about price of coal. Uh, because, you know, we uh, were so much dependent on it that <clears throat> changing from day to day to new energies would also be very difficult financially uh, because um, uh, green energy 10 years ago, five years ago uh, was much more expensive. Now, the situation changed completely. And, you know, I was also Minister of European Affairs uh, and I negotiated climate change in 2014. And then our government, uh, civic platform government, agreed for ambitious goals uh, to, for 2030. It was 40% then. Now we know that we need to be more ambitious than then, uh, than that. And what we agreed on was also, uh, you know, all kinds of compensation mechanisms which would allow us to uh, trans transform our energy mix uh, towards a, a much more a flexible and, and a much more green energy mix and also uh, uh, save uh, jobs. That's what we did. Unfortunately, the current government didn't do anything in the past five years in order to really transform the sector. And the situation changed completely because now, just in a few years' time, the energy from Polish coal is one of the most expensive in the world because, you know, it's 1,000 meters underground uh, and green energy becomes much, much cheaper. Uh, there are possibilities uh, with the, the money that the European Union earmarked for Green Deal to actually invest in new jobs and to... Uh, to actually invest in transformation. And thirdly, and most importantly, if you do not invest in those possibilities, you're, you're not going to be innovative at all. And of course, you know, the, the world is changing in times of COVID. We reassess almost everything uh, and we need to reassess that as well. And if you, and that's what I tell uh, all the conservatives in Poland, even if you do not believe in climate change, because some of them believe it or not, but some of them do not believe in climate change, even if you are worried about jobs. I mean, invest, invest, and invest, because at the end of the day, the decisions will be taking, uh, taken and, and we will simply uh, be on the margins economically, and we need to invest in, in innovativeness. 